okay today? Very good, very good. Okay, so what's happening today? Today we're going, we're off to see the uh, insurance broker. I asked you last week, um, a few guys, I've got about nine comments to ask him. I've also got some um, questions to ask for myself. So we've got about 15 questions to ask him. So I hope he doesn't mind. Um, but I just thought it'd be a good idea, you know, um, you know, getting health insurance in Thailand, such a, such a, um, like it's, diff it's not difficult, it's just so confusing. Um, that's why I've gone, I've gone through a broker. Um, I'm not saying that everyone needs to go through a broker. I just went through a broker. Um, like in Australia, all my insurance has done houses insurance and car insurance and everything in Australia, I've always gone through a broker. Um, I find it a lot easier, they handle everything. Um, they make it very simple to, uh, you know, to explain everything. So, um, so yeah, so, <coughs> you know, I've got all your questions here and um, it should be good. And I hope I can give you guys some advice um, on how to get insurance here in Thailand. If not, Cambodia or Vietnam. Um, we'll go from there. All right. So, hope you're well, and we'll see at the uh, we'll see at the office. Hello, Chris. How are you? Hello. Very Jimmy. good. Yeah, I'm very good. Thank you. Um, so you're my you're my insurance broker. Huh? Yes. <laughs> very good. Um, so tell us a bit about yourself. Yeah, I'm Chris. I'm 27 years old. Yeah. Uh, I'm coming from Luxembourg. I'm working eight years in the insurance domain. So in Europe, I'm making everything with life insurance and all type of insurance. And here in Thailand, I'm since since I am since January. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm working on the health insurance advising yeah. for uh, for the clients, and uh, I pretty like it. It's uh, okay, it's, it's nice. So it's the first first time you've been in Thailand. Uh, no, I'm half Thai, so for me it's. I say you're half Thai. Yeah, for so for me it's easier to to stay here, here and to work here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and I speak five languages, so. Five languages. Yeah, so oh. it's pretty nice for the expats they're living here. Yeah. I can help them in a, a lot of languages because it's always a struggle yeah. when you're working in insurance or you need to do insurance okay. and you're speaking a language. Yeah. What is really hard. Well, yeah. To, if you, so what languages do you speak? Speak French, English, German, Luxembourgish, and a basic of Thai. Oh, great! So you're very good at selling insurance because you can cater for a whole range of people. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty nice uh, that we can help a lot of people here. Very good. Oh, um, okay, so this insurance company or insurance broker, yeah. is, um, what's it called? Uh, our insurance company calls AA Insurance Brokers. AA Insurance Brokers. Exactly, okay. and we are located in three different cities. So here in Hua Hin. Pattaya and Phuket. Okay. And uh, yeah, we are specialized on everything with health insurance for expats yeah. living in Thailand. Car insurance? Everything of insurance. Everything of insurance. Exactly. So I've got a few questions to ask. Um, how do I choose which plan is best for me? Uh, it's always depending here in Thailand. It's quite challenging to choose a plan. Uh, it always depends on your personal circumstance on your age, your family situation, but most important, your health situation. And that's therefore AA insurance uh, helps you or to guide you through this mess of uh, different health insurance here in Thailand and it gives you some, helps you to give you some advantage and to give you some disadvantage on different plans that you are free from care. Right. So you just can come and get a good advice. Okay, so, so you pretty much, you look at the, uh, the situation yeah. of, your, of your client exactly. and then you make the best assessment from there. Exactly, because not every client is, yeah, is every in client the same, is it? exactly, it's not in the same situation. And like you're saying, also age related, family related and health situation related. So if you have a lot of pre-existing conditions, it's always harder than if you're young and healthy and just come in and... Uh, exactly, yeah. But then it's no challenge. Okay, cool. Um, and what kind of insurance are, are available in Thailand? Um, in Thailand you have two different types of insurance. So the first type is like the, I always say, all-inclusive insurance. So it covers nearly everything 200%. So you're just going to the hospital, giving your card and let the magic happen. And then you have this... And, um, sorry, when you, uh, when you say that, I'll just show you. I'll just show everyone this. So I picked this up today where I lost the first one, didn't I? Yes. Um, so this is the card. I'll put, this is the card that they've given me for my health insurance. 
Um, you might want to hold that up. Can you hold that up to the camera? Sure. So with that there, if I get sick, if I say I'm in an accident, a car accident, or um, so I need to go um, to the hospital. To hospital. What I do is I just give this card to the to the hospital. Exactly. And everything's covered. I don't so, exactly. Everything what is covered for the inpatient case. So everything what is an accident or an illness, you need to stay overnight or at least assigned to a bed to the hospital. Yeah. You're covered. So I don't have to pay any money out. Nothing. Okay. No prepayment and then claim back later. Okay. So, and right. that's a good thing. Um, you know, it's it's good to have that because you know, if you you know, if you, especially if you're having a bad accident and say you're in a coma, or you know, and the bills are running up to one million bar. Yeah. Um, you know, there is because there is um, there is some insurance companies out there that expect you pay first, isn't it? Yeah. So there's a lot of uh, uh, Thai-based companies uh, who who are saying, okay, you will pay up front yeah. and we will claim back you later. But the problem is not everybody has. Has a, has a one, two million baht line exactly, around. So exactly. Exactly. Because already when you're an expert, you need to have a lot of money on the side for your visa yeah. to be to can stay in Thailand, yeah. and you cannot touch this money. So, so a lot of uh, clients they love it because they don't need to worry. They're paying one time a year their premiums, and yeah. then they are quiet all year okay, cool. for no matter what happened. Okay, so that's perfect. And what is the difference between inpatient and outpatient? It's like, for example, you're in your situation, yeah. you are covered for everything that is inpatient. Okay. Inpatient, it means you need to be assigned to a bed or at least being for a longer stay in the hospital. Yeah. Outpatient is when you're going to the hospital for a medical visit to a doctor, get some medication and go back home. That's an outpatient care. Mostly here in Thailand, people choose inpatient cares because outpatient cares are not that expensive okay. here in Thailand. Like you can easily get a nurse or a exactly, yeah. exactly. Or here, when you're going to the pharmacy, you even get everything if you have headache or you have a, like a yeah. sneeze or something. And uh, that's why we're trying always to 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 provide a, a coverage for the most expensive and the worst case scenarios. Yeah. So that's the inpatient case. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And um, is there much difference between the inpatient and the outpatient? Like. Does it, get, does it get costly when outpatient is always included? Exactly, yeah. Because uh, we're working with a lot of international companies together, but also Thai-based companies. Okay. And uh, mostly when you're adding outpatient to your policy, it nearly doubles the premium. Oh, does it really? Okay. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. that's why we're saying, is it interesting? We're always making comparisons. Is it interesting when you go to a doctor here in Thailand and you pay maybe like 1000 1,500 baht yeah. for a routine control with medication and everything, and or to say, okay, I pay a thousand dollar a year yeah. to be covered for outpatient care. Okay, yeah. So that's always like a so balance. Exactly. So definitely, so most of the not the time it works out just having patients. Exactly. What is a waiting period? A uh, waiting period. A waiting period is defined under your insurance policy uh, before medical selections comes in. So. They giving you a waiting period of one year, for example, to say, okay, you had this illness before, we are willing to cover it, but if in one year of waiting nothing happens, after that we can cover it. Okay. So it's a, it's, it's a deal that an insurance company makes with you and says, okay, in case of you have a pre-existing condition, yeah. we, we are willing to cover it, but if we're giving you one to two years, if there's nothing is happening, then we're willing to cover it. So, so you actually do cover pre-existing conditions? Sure we do. So it always depends on the insurance company and always of the pre-existing condition. Okay. So, so uh, say you've got cancer, for example. Cancer is possible yeah. to be covered, but just if the cancer is treated and there's no medication anymore for it, then it's okay. Then they, will, they are willing to cover it. But as long as you're on cancer and on treatment and on medication is very hard and pretty. So, impossible. say you're 60 years of age, you've never had medical insurance before yeah. in Thailand, yeah. you've got cancer, Would, is it hard to find a policy? Yes, it's very hard. If you have cancer, you never, you, you're still on treatment. The, the most important is always if you're still on treatment and on medication. So, it's possible that you have cancer and you're on treatment, your treatment is over, yeah. but you can still get medication just to I'm control just, yeah. it. Uh, and that's still, that's not. That is still going and that is also already a fact. Right. They're saying 
No, we don't cover. Because you're still actually going through treatment. I, exactly. Okay. But if you had with 40 years cancer and you go through it and there's no problem anymore, and with 55 you're coming and you're saying, okay, I want to have healthcare here in Thailand, yeah. and you have the provided documents or certificates of the doctor saying, okay, everything is okay, no treatments, no medication, no any issues, then the insurance policy companies are willing to cover. Okay, what is the deductible? The uh, deductible is an amount you can choose in the beginning of your policy to lower your yearly premium. Okay. So for example, you say, okay, I take a $5,000 deductible yeah. and um, you said you, you choose it to lower your premium, your yearly premium. Yeah. You're going to the hospital, you have a $10,000 bill. Yeah. So the first $5,000 you're paying up front and the rest, so the, ups, oh, the, uh, the $5,000 that's still open, Five, is it bad or is that dollar? Dollar, for example, because you have different. Okay. We have you have the dollar plans, you have the the euro plans, you have the Thai bad plans. Okay. Cool. I, I just took the dollar example now because mostly it's more uh, easy for. So with with my policy, what do I have at fifteen thousand? Is it? No, uh, sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand baht. Seven hundred thirty. Ah. Baht. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So if I get sick, I've got to pay. Say my bill is what four hundred thousand baht. Exactly. I've got to pay the first sixteen thousand baht. Exactly. Which is a lot better than paying four to five hundred to a million baht. Exactly. Okay, what, is it, what, what are pre-existing conditions? So, like we was talking before, a pre-existing condition is always related to your history, your medical history. So, if in case you, had, you have already high blood sugar, if you have high blood pressure, cholesterol, or if you had any major accident or illness before, that's a pre-existing condition. So if you have an accident with your knee or something and you want to be and you want to be covered, the insurance companies are willing to cover pre-existing conditions if they have the medical files for it. Okay, so, so you've, got to, you've got to produce them. Exactly. If they have country. yeah, if they have your information, the right information, and that the insurance company knows, okay, everything is okay, treatment was been done, no medication, no any problems with it, they are willing to cover. But as long as the company don't know the informations or the right informations, the insurance company is not willing to cover something what is already broken. Right, okay. And uh, what an insurance company do is either three possibilities. So first, they say, no, we just exclude. Second, they say, okay, we accept it. Or third, they say, okay, we accept it, but with a premium loading. Okay. So if you want to get covered your high blood pressure, we cover it, but with a 15% loading of your premium. Um, is health insurance getting more expensive with age? This must be your number one question. Yeah, it's, uh, that's the first question what people are always asking us. Okay, that's our price now, but what is our price later? Yeah. So the most companies working with five years breakage. So you, five years, your price will be stable. It will not go up because of your age. The only reason it's going up is because the medical inflation. So when the doctors get more expensive, medical medics get more expensive, and everything gets more expensive, then the insurance company need to raise their prices yeah. to stay in a balance. Uh, the older you get, the normally the higher your premium get. Okay. So you have two different kinds of insurance. So the one, they're going skyrocket, so your premium just double, and you have the other one who really stay affordable, who's staying on the same level okay, of right. pricing. And uh, that's our, also our job as brokers, so we're always keeping the premiums and the following up of the premiums in, in mind and also following our clients to say, okay, you will have a raisement next year, are you willing to change or do you want to be looking up for so a new... So if you, so if you, can, if you know that it's going to go up next year, you'll try and find a client, a, a, another... Exactly. Okay. So in your case with April, if you know, okay, in three years your premium will go double yeah. and you say, okay, listen, that's a lot of money, and then we say, okay, do you want that we look up for new possibility for you, a new policy, new pricings, and you say, yeah, then we go again through work and we start again of doing researches and finding the best policy okay. with the same coverage and a better premium. Okay. Because this is also our job as broker, not just to provide, but also to do the work behind. And, and to find the best deal. For exactly, the best exactly. Is it more cost effective to buy health insurance directly from an insurance company? No, whether you're going to the, health ins to, the, to the insurance company or you're coming to us, the premium stays the same. 
but uh, if you're going to an insurance company directly, yeah. what you have, you have always just the one possibility, the one product they selling, and the one option you have. If you're coming to us as broker, we're working with a lot of different companies together, and we can provide you with a choice. We can give you a lot of multiple choice. You can choose and what fits you the best. And um, this is one of the most, how can I say, the most effective way to work, yeah. to get and personalize your need. Yeah. And uh, we're working from the client to the insurance companies. We're not working for any insurance companies and just try to sell one product. So we are working for the, from the client to the different insurance companies. Okay. And we fully support you with all claims okay. and needs. So um, say, say I've got a problem with the claim, um, say I'm in hospital and uh, you know, my insurance, April insurance or um, Liberty insurance, wherever I'm with, um, they, they've got a problem with me, you guys will ring up them and deal with them directly and say exactly. what's going on, why I've got a problem paying me out. Or, yeah, exactly. Okay, so, so it's good to have, you know, you're, you're yeah. like a big brother kind of. Exactly. We, we're doing the paperwork where people don't want to work. So the, everything with claim handling and, and all the stuff we're doing for them. So, so if I went, say I went to Bangkok Hospital tomorrow, yeah. would the hospital, would I ring you or would I ring? No, no. The hospital, in case you're going to the hospital, yeah. you have your card. They will look at your wallet and they will see, okay, you're covered with April. Yeah. They will get in contact with April. Yeah. They will send, they will, they will send the detailed information to April what happened with you, what they need to do with you, and what is the cost estimation. Okay. They will send to April. April will send an approval. They will say, okay, we will pay it. Yeah. Or they will say, okay, no, we don't pay it. And if they say, no, we don't pay it, we will do the research why they don't pay it. Okay. And we will tell them, okay, this and this case applies to the client and everything. This has to be okay. covered. So, so it's normal procedure for the hospital to actually go through your wallet, is it? Exactly. To look for that card. Exactly. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. So, so they look in case you have an accident, you're unconscious. Yeah. They will try to find your information, like your ID card and stuff. So and that's why it's very important to have this in my, in my, exactly. this card in my wallet. So if anything does happen, I'm knocked down or I'm in a coma, then go, okay, Okay, brilliant. Okay, well, I'll make sure that's in the car. <laughs> okay, am I covered if I travel abroad? Yes, mostly of our contracts are covered. Are you covered for diff uh, a defined days out of cover of area, okay. out of area coverage? Yeah. Uh, so, so I'm covered in Asia, aren't I? Exactly. Except for the moment, Singapore. exactly. For the moment, you're covered in Asia, so you can be treated everywhere except in Singapore. And when you're going back. Uh, to, to Australia or you're going back to Europe or you go back going to visit you are covered for 30 days for everything what is emergency okay. so what is emergency so everything what cannot wait to be treated if you're back in Asia okay. so that's in case of an accident or a, or an illness that yeah. cannot wait to be treated for okay my video uh, I hope I pronounced that right can you ask your broker about life insurance we're not doing life insurance here in Thailand because it's a different uh, a, a different kind of business, yeah. and we are focusing on health insurance. Can, 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 a, can an expat get life insurance here? Yeah, can. They can. Life insurance is possible. You can go to the banks or the, the other financial places, and they can offer okay, it to they you. Can handle that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Ron Floyd says, as a healthy seventy-four-year-old, um, I would like to know my options. Uh, that would be expensive, especially for high coverage, three to. Three bar, for instance, um, but it'd be great to know what I'm looking. What am I looking at? Um, both as travel insurance, 90 day stay, I hope, and a yearly cover, cover, coverage for retirement. Uh, yes, it's still possible. So if you're 40, 74 years old and you're still good in shape, you don't have too much pre-existing conditions. There's always possibility to sign up for health insurance. Yeah. We have diff We were working with different companies they have no li entrance limit so okay. you can even apply with 80 well, years. 99. Yeah, sure. And say, say, can you do 90 day stays? Four. So say, say he's here for 90 days. But he's always, we are always doing yearly health insurance. Ah, so it's just yearly health Exactly. So if he's going to retire here, you can definitely look after him. Exactly. Yeah. For the 90 days, you need to look up for health insurance and accident insurance. Okay, so that he'd be covers. better off doing that in his home country for America. Exactly. As travel insurance. Exactly. Okay. Yes, I said, um, I'm coming to Thailand. I'm coming for six months. 
next month. I'll launch it after there's a month to month medical insurance available there. Um, so obviously, PS would just answer that with, um, with Ron. You'd have to um, go through your travel insurance in your home country. It's always depending how old Mr. PS is now. Yeah. Because we're having one we're, we're working with, they're doing the six months coverage. Are they? So, exactly. So, because in, in, in the other case, he was 74 years old, we cannot offer him that, that anymore. Okay. So, it's always depending how old you are, and there are different possibilities also to cover you for six months. Uh, Blue Man, I'd like to ask if there's any age limit on the health insurance. So we just answered that before. Exactly. You can be 99, just as long as you're healthy and fine and fit. Yeah. Uh, under no pre-existing condition. Yeah. You can um, get health insurance. Um, okay, Mark B. Um, about the health insurance, I read somewhere if you have an accident, like falling off your motorbike, it might have restrictions on the health insurance policy. So it's better to have an accident insurance. Can you ask this for me, uh, No, because uh, with the health insurance, uh, they don't really pay attention how you have an accident right. so they're covering you for everything what is an expense in the hospital the only thing you can get restrictions is on your motorbike or car insurance yeah. you had because there you're also covered for different for a, 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 sp a specific amount for everything what is coverage in the hospital for medics and uh, so it, no matter what kind of insurance or health insurance you have, and no matter what kind of accident you have, you are always covered. But you'd have to have a motorbike license, I guess, would you? No. No, you wouldn't? No, because health insurance covers you for the health. It's not no matter which purpose you had or which, so why. So I had an accident on a motorbike yeah. and I didn't have a motorbike license, yeah. I'm still covered. Yeah, because your health insurance have nothing to do with your motorbike. Okay. I mean, uh, you, there's nothing related to your health insurance. So no matter so what say, happened. Well, say, say you were caught drink driving. Say you, you fell off your bike. Yeah. And you had, say you'd had two or three beers too many. Yeah. Are you still covered? Yeah. Are you still covered even if yeah. you got alcohol in your system? Yeah. Okay, well that's good to know. <laughs> Not that I ever do that. But, uh, <laughs> so another subscriber, um, is, his name is that guy. That's very original. Great video. Question about your insurance program. Is there a solution for people with pre-existing conditions, or you just have a lot. We've just pretty much answered that, haven't we? Yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, also, how much does a monthly premium rise if someone's saying in the 50s? Uh, for that guy, uh, thank you for the request. Uh, I was looking it up. Uh, for a guy over 50s, and if you are good in shape and uh, healthy, you would pay about $125 a month. Okay. For uh, full inpatient coverage, with a cover of $1.2 million a year in Thailand. 1.2. And how much am I covered for? 16 million. 16 so. million Thai baht. 16 million Thai baht. Exactly. And how much did you just say then? $1.2 million. Oh, dollar. So $1.2 exactly. million. Exactly. And you'd be looking at, so out of 50, so you'd be looking at about $125 a month. Exactly. Okay, cool. Well, that's good. Um, okay, Mark B. Question about insurance. One question on insurance. Can you ask your broker what's the cost of insurance? Is approximately. For a private family policy, say assume, assume same type policy as your policy, with a husband in the 50s, wife in the 40s, with two kids at about 10 years old each, wife and kids are Thai, if that matters. Thanks very much. Uh, yes, I just looked it up also for you, Mr. Mark McCormick. Uh, you will be about at $3,425 a year to have a complete coverage for your family, um, coverage $500,000 per person, so you will be at $285 monthly. Okay, so that's good. Oh, that's good. So how much was it? 3425 so 3425 per month for a $500 coverage, a $500,000 yearly coverage yeah. uh, for everything that is full inpatient. Okay. Um, thanks very much for your time, Chris. What I'm going to do, um, I'm going to have all your contact details um, in the description. Okay. So if people want to contact you, um, I'll have your email address, your phone number, um, your location here. Mm -hmm. Are you happy with that? Yeah, sure. Welcome. So uh, if no matter what, what question you have, you're always welcome to just write me or call me. Uh, I'm always open for every question you have and every need you need and where I can help you, it's always, I always have a solution.
probably. Very good. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time. Welcome, Johnny. All right. I'm going to finish this vlog off now. And um, I hope you're well. Thanks, buddy. Thank See you. See you now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.